Hello, in today's training video we're going to discuss how to properly don a full face mask and the importance of doing so correctly each time before you dive. Properly fitting and adjusting the full face mask is important for a comfortable and pleasurable dive, while an improperly adjusted mask may lead to an uncomfortable experience. Today we'll be using a Guardian full face mask to demonstrate the appropriate procedure. However, if you have a Spectrum full face mask, there's no need to worry because the process is the same. Whenever you prepare to dive with your Guardian, as with all equipment, always perform a safety check. Turn on the air and listen for any leaks and test the purge. Look for anything that may be missing, misaligned or damaged. Test the regulator positively locks into place and releases with the quick release button. Make sure the equalizing assembly is properly adjusted for you and secured in place. If you have communications, make sure the microphone is properly positioned. To properly don the mask, always start with fully extended straps on the head harness. Ensure the communications equipment is pulled back to keep them from binding against the buckles. Drop the mask over your head and seat the mask onto your face, placing your chin in the chin pocket. Make sure the head harness is as far down on the back of your head as possible. Now seat the mask to your face. It's important that your chin is seated inside that chin pocket. With a slight wiggle, ensure the seal of the mask is comfortably and properly positioned and the seal is clear of any hair or hoods. To secure the mask correctly, the proper sequence and tightening of the straps is necessary. Starting with the jaw straps first, tighten each strap by pulling the tabs to the rear, never out to the sides. Tighten each strap evenly, making sure the head harness remains centered on the back of your head. Continue onto the temple straps, tightening in the same manner, and finally tighten the top strap just enough to take the slack off the top of the strap. If you feel a gap under your chin or leaking air out of the seal at your forehead, apply a bit more tension on the top strap, being careful not to add too much, otherwise you may raise the center of the head harness. Give the mask a final wiggle against your face and make any minor adjustments as necessary for a snug and comfortable fit. Once the head harness has been tightened, take a moment to ensure you can equalize properly and comfortably by pushing up and inward on the mask with moderate pressure and try to clear your ears. It's important that you don't seal over the top of a neoprene hood. Just as with a standard mask, if you have something in the seal, it will leak. Over tightening the mask will not solve the leak and it can lead to tearing of the straps on the side of the skirt. With the mask properly adjusted, the last thing to do is to seat the second stage regulator into the opening of the mask where the hose is coming from the diver's right shoulder. You should hear a positive snap when the regulator is seated, then give it a solid tug afterwards to ensure it's installed correctly. Alternatively, the mask can be donned with the second stage already in place. After the regulator is seated and your ABV is closed, you're ready to dive. But what can happen if you don the mask improperly? Over tightening the top strap can lead to jaw fatigue, floating off your face and poor communications. Over tightening of the top strap is one of the most common mistakes in donning and adjusting the full face mask. The mask needs to be pulled back on the diver's face with the proper adjustments of the head harness. Over tightening of the top strap pulls the center of the head harness to the top of the head, pulling the mask up on the face, not back. It's very important that the head harness is centered on the back of the head. This improper adjustment can cause jaw fatigue because the straps are fighting against the chin whenever you talk or breathe through the mouth. Over tightening or tightening the top strap first may also lead to the feeling of the mask floating on the diver's face while diving. This is simply down to the mask not being properly secured. The sensation of excess buoyancy is caused by the over tightening of the top strap. In addition, tightening the top strap can also make communications difficult to hear as your earphones or buddy phone is pulled upward over the top of your ear as opposed to being directly over the ear. Proper tightening of the top strap will help keep the chin in the chin pocket. Another way to improperly don the mask is to leave the mask straps too loose. When diving, this may cause the mask to leak air slowly. 
Whilst it isn't dangerous because escaping air won't allow water to intrude the mask, it will drain from your tank and could result in shorter dive time. Over tightening all the straps on the mask is the last way to improperly don the mask. Although this isn't typically dangerous for the diver, it can lead to an uncomfortable diving experience or headache and may lead to additional wear on the mask skirt over time. Removing the mask is as simple as thumbing the bottom jaw buckles forward and rocking the mask backwards over your head. You can loosen the buckles one at a time if you have only one hand available or both hands at the same time, thumbing both jaw buckles forward and rocking the mask backwards over your head. Again, in summary, to properly don a full face mask, first seat your chin in the chin pocket, tighten all the straps with moderate force, beginning with the bottom chin straps, and only add the minimum amount to the top strap needed. By following those simple rules, you should be well on your way to a comfortable and pleasurable dive. If you have any questions about this or would like any further information on any of our products, visit the website at www.oceantechnologysystems.com or you can send an email to OTS at OTSCOM.com or give us a call on 1-800-550-1984.